Surgery for the treatment of diabetes and obesity has got very good results. In fact, one of the best treatments for diabetes and obesity is Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Jedi Brown, uh, and I'm a consultant surgeon in upper GI, uh, gastrointestinal surgery, uh, and bariatric and metabolic uh, surgery. Uh, I'm a consultant here in the JR surgery in Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital and I've uh, started my practice here uh, since January last year. Before this, I was a senior consultant and uh, head of upper GI section in Tan Tok Seng Hospital uh, for the last 10 years before I started my practice. Metabolic surgery is the surgery for treatment of diabetes, obesity and other related metabolic disorders such as uh, hypertension, hypercholesterol, etc. Uh, this requires a multidisciplinary uh, care. Uh, in restructured hospitals, we always have a multidisciplinary care, but I found that in the private sector, that this multidisciplinary care was lacking, and most practices are single practices. So I thought I would start this uh, clinic where there is a holistic treatment of the patient, where we have an endocrinologist, a dietitian, psychologist, etc where they can take care of all the patient's needs in one place. In Singapore, uh, the incidence of obesity uh, is about 15 to 20 percent and uh, diabetes is uh, 30 to 40 percent. And a mix of this is called diabetes, which means diabetes and obesity. This is now almost like a worldwide pandemic uh, and this, uh, there are more and more number of cases like this. So currently, like in this COVID situation, we are one pandemic within another. And these patients require special care because they have multiple medical problems that need to be sorted out. So this is quite a challenging speciality. The surgical treatment of diabetes and obesity is now a standard of care. They have one of the best results compared to medical treatment. Uh, however, public awareness of this is lacking uh, and therefore this is quite a challenge to educate and raise awareness among the people so that this, this can be the future subspeciality where people can be treated with surgery. A bariatric surgery and a metabolic surgery are surgery for the treatment of uh, obesity and the other metabolic disorders such as diabetes, high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Now a combination of Diabetes with high blood pressure, high cholesterol is called metabolic syndrome. So surgical treatment of this is called bariatric and metabolic surgery. Usually uh, one would say that uh, a person normal BMI should be between 18 and 25. Between 25 to uh, 30 is considered overweight and above 30 is considered obese. When a person is obese, statistics have shown that more than 95% of the people are unable to lose their weight with just diet and exercise. This is a lot of studies have been done and this has been shown that they are not able to lose weight with just diet and exercise. And bariatric and metabolic surgery has been proven to be the most effective method for people to lose weight as well as to treat there are comorbidities such as diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, reflux, sleep apnea, etc. And therefore now uh, even the Ministry of Health of Singapore recognizes this as a disease uh, and you can actually use your Medisave, etc. to treat it like any other medical condition. So there are various uh, surgeries available uh, to treat. Uh, persons with obesity, diabetes, etc. Uh, these surgeries can be either a restrictive surgery or um, metabolic or malabsorptive surgeries. The surgeries that will decide for the patient depends upon their age, their type of diet, uh, etc. So when we find that a person is a volume eater, they are younger patients, uh, then we would usually do a restrictive surgery like either a gastric banding or a sleeve gastrectomy. Uh, if a patient uh, is um, slightly older, they suffer from comorbidities such as reflux and especially for treatment of diabetes. 
then we would use a malabsorptive surgery such as a gastric bypass which has got excellent cure rates for diabetes. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.